All right, we are at Oshkosh 2025, and I am here to look at something very interesting, and I think you will find it interesting as well. So um, we're going to look at what so Volt Aero has to offer and bring to the market, and um, yeah, there's a lot of exciting stuff here. So if you want, if you could introduce yourself and uh, just kind of give us um, just a brief uh, statement about the company. Okay. So I am Jean Boutry. I am the CTO and CEO of Voltero. Voltero is, a, uh, is kind of a spin-off of, uh, uh, I would say, Airbus, where I was a CTO for 10 years. And okay. then in 2017, I decided to create my own company with uh, members of the team that I had at Airbus that did these historic flights in 2015 uh, that was a pure electric flight crossing the channel from the UK to France. Okay. That wow. was at the time, it was called the EFAN. Okay. So uh, I guess there's two big, uh, I guess, topics of interest here. Uh, one, I want to talk about, you know, what is the HPU 210? What exactly, um, what phase are you at in it and uh, what is it? I guess. So the hybrid power unit, HPU 210, mm -hmm. has been developed for our Casio airplane okay. uh, as a pedal hybrid. It's patented in 62 countries. Okay. okay. Uh, including U.S., uh, both for helicopters and airplanes, and uh, it's it's uh, it was this idea to create at the base an aircraft that would take off and land all electric, with the safety because you can run electric alone, you can run thermal engine alone, or both combined. Okay. So that's the base of uh, this idea of this HPU. Yep. Uh, it happened that along the way. The aircraft itself got heavier, mm -hmm. uh, bigger, you know. So this 210 uh, is a spin-off of the 330. So 210 is uh, basically 280 horsepower. Yep. But we need on the airplane itself, we need almost 500 horsepower. Mm -hmm. So we decided to take all the testing we did on this power unit mm -hmm. that has been going through 100 hours of testing. Okay and to commercialize it for non-certified aviation, like okay. you know, uh, light aircraft, you know, mm -hmm. NSA, oh, yeah. for drones, mm -hmm. uh, for kids, people yep. that love to build their own. Oh, yeah. This is built that way. This is why you see what you see out there mm -hmm. uh, is the, uh, the concretization, I would say, of, mm -hmm. of this work that we have been doing since 2000, end of 2017. Okay, all right. Now, what kind of uh, combination horsepower was so this put you, out? So you got 200 horsepower of thermal energy. Okay. You got 80 horsepower of electric energy. Okay. So what is the objective of this? You can do all the taxing electric. Mm. Okay. Okay. Because you can uh, you know, run around. If you have your airplane close to a neighborhood, you don't want to disturb them. Mm -hmm. You can taxi in electric. Yes. which is very, very low noise. Oh, yeah, yeah. Then when you get to the runway, you put the hybrid function. Mm -hmm. So it's only one lever, okay? You push okay. and you have, obviously, you take off in a hybrid mode between electric and uh, thermal, okay? Okay. And you got 200 horse, horsepower of, of thermal energy. So it's a very, very powerful oh, yeah. thing, okay? It takes yeah. off very fast. Yeah. And then when you're in altitude, uh, you can run, you know, uh, in pure thermal if you want. And then mm -hmm. when you want to have a push to climb or yep. evasive maneuver or anything, you can put the energy, the 80 horsepower of, of energy. So yeah. if you want to go faster, you can also push at the maximum. Yeah. So that gives you, you know, more pep, you know, to, yeah, yeah. to fly. Yeah. That's the objective of all this, you know. Okay. Uh, it, you could potentially, if you're in altitude, say, okay, I got 10 minutes, 15 minutes of flight. I want to do that all electric. Mm -hmm. If you take uh, 117 pounds of batteries, you can fly 23 minutes in pure electric also. Okay. See? Yeah. So yeah. what we're trying to do here is to optimize as much as we can um, the, the, the cost of the unit. So the less battery you use, the best obviously it is because mm -hmm. batteries are not cheap. Yeah, you know? yeah. And heavy. <laughs> and heavy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and heavy. Yeah. 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 So, but the good news about batteries, they have a very high efficiency. Yeah. What you put in, you get out. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. It's not 
There's so much combustion. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So what kind of, um, I guess, so for instance, say you're in a, uh, a more demanding airstrip, you know, you need that extra, or like you said, um, the rate of climb, you need to get up to altitude for maybe thermals. You can just get there quicker. So what I think of is it's a, it seems like it's just a great opportunity to have the added horsepower without having to always pay for all that fuel consumption. You're absolutely right. That's this what is the objective, exactly. Yeah. You know, this push to perform, yeah, yeah. it's exactly that. Yeah. The more you use electricity, the best it is because mm -hmm. it's cheaper than fuel. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. And, and we have, uh, mm -hmm. obviously for our own aircraft, which will be certified at the end of 2027, okay. we have developed all the log logics, all the, you know, the software that mm -hmm. allows you to optimize always okay. this, I would say, dichotomy Balance. between yeah. thermal and electric. Yeah. Because yeah. that's, you know, and, and to develop that, you need to be able to fly. Mm -hmm. And we have been flying since 2020, okay. you know, demonstrator that is a, a mm -hmm. completely transformed Cessna 337. That I was one. going to say that I see that yeah. and I see Skymaster. That's, Sky that's what it looks but like. You yeah. see, it's a Skymaster that doesn't have any more oh, yeah. the engine in the back. Yeah. Or the front. It's got a, a hybrid power unit, like okay. the one that you see here. Yeah. In the front, you got three power packs because instead of only one engine here, you have three of them. Mm. Yeah. Three at 120 degrees. Yeah, wow. And then you got two electric motors also in the in the wings. Okay. And you have two power packs in the wings. This is the most powerful hybrid electric aircraft in the world in parallel hybrid. Okay. It's yeah. 800 horsepower. Okay. So wow. the technology in here is already capable of carrying 10 people. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. So you got a, a body engine electric with a hybrid. Pushing. Yes. So two electric motors in the front yep. that we have added. You know, it doesn't exist in the Skymaster. Mm -hmm. Plus three electric motors in the back combined with an engine. Yeah. The back is 480 and kilowatts, okay. 600 horsepower. And in the front, you got 200 horsepower. So 800 horsepower total. Okay. All right. All right. Cool. So let's talk a little bit more about this, this aircraft. What's the name of it then? The... Which one? This one? Yeah. This one that flies today? Yes. It's called Casio S. Casio S. And it's the okay. base, S like sustainable. Okay. And it's the base to create the Casio 330, the okay. one that you see behind you. Yeah, there. yeah. Yep. And that one is, a pre this is a precursor of, of the okay. plane that we certify. This one will go for certification. So certification and stuff, yes. yeah. I mean, you're saying 2027? Yes, end of 27. End okay. of 27, yes. Yeah, wow. That's, uh, that's very impressive. That's exciting. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So. See, we try to do revolution by evolution. Okay? Mm -hmm. We're not trying to say, we're not trying to promise the moon, whatever. Yeah. We fly. This, is the, this one will be the fourth aircraft that we put together. When I was at Airbus, the CTO, we put two together okay. already, two pure electrics that okay. we tested. Then we created our own company and we have this one that you know, we went from 20 kilowatts to 60 kilowatts to 600 kilowatts. Oh, wow. <laughs> and we went from pure electric to hybrid because our objective is also the range. Yes. These aircrafts are, are made for 800 miles of range. Okay. okay. So yeah. it's not a small, it's three and a half hours of flight mm -hmm. at 200 knots. Wow. So, that's, yeah. that's pretty impressive. Yeah. <laughs> so talking about performance, what kind of speed, I know myself and maybe some viewers are be interested in, um, it's always like in an airplane, like how fast does it go? Like, I mean, what kind of speed, typical so, speed, not pushing it hard, but just yeah, comfortable. 150 knots cruise, Okay. the first one, okay? Yep. The first one is the, the one that want to certify the soonest and mm -hmm. you know, the easiest one. So. Yep. No pressurized, non-pressurized, yeah, yeah. not retractable landing gear. Mm -hmm. So it's like a Cessna 172 or like a Cirrus or whatever. Okay. That one will do 150 knots cruise, 180 knots max speed. Okay. Then we go to the six seats. So this one is a five seats. Then we go to the six. Okay. Six will have retractable landing mm -hmm. and it will have also pressurized. Okay. That one oh, yeah. will go beyond the 200 not 220 knots max oh, wow. and you go probably you know around 200 knots you know uh, yeah. cruise okay okay wow. and then we get the 12 seats 12 seats is really the start of regional mobility mm, yeah. and that one uh, is is gonna be probably around 300 knots okay you know, oh, wow. and pressurized wow. 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 Yeah. all right I guess my last question is um, how slow 
can it fly? Like as far as going into a, how big of a runway, like what would be, I know typically 337s, you can get in pretty small places. So what's the? 1,800 feet, no problem. 1,800 feet? No problem. Being grass or being uh, on paved road, mm -hmm. no problem. Okay, okay, so relatively short trips. Because, though. you know yeah. why? Because you got this, in our aircraft here, you got a lot of electric power mm -hmm. and the lot of, beauty lot of, that, of torque. lot of torque yes. at, at, at zero speed so yeah. you immediately get the punch yeah yeah okay awesome all right well if you have any questions uh, i guess on what we've already talked about you want to get more information where can people the viewers you know what would be the quickest way to what where would they go to online they visit our website yep www.voltero, V O L T A E R O. Okay. Dot Aero, A E R O. And uh, they have every information there. They can contact us. We'll be happy to answer your questions. And we hope there will be plenty of them asking questions. Yeah, yeah. If they want to equip their, uh, you know, oh, their yeah. LSA or their, uh, you know, kits with that, we're oh, ready yeah. to help them. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sounds good. Well, again, I really appreciate your time. Thank you. It's Thank been you. great. Thank and uh, again, if you have any questions, definitely let me know in the comments. I'll do my best to answer. And also, we can go on the website mentioned. And until next time, you guys stay safe, be blessed, and I will see you in the next one. Later.